So I picked this up in the supermarket today. Never cooked this before in my life. This is ribbon fish, cutlass fish or belt fish. I've got a tape ruler there. This is not a particularly big one apparently either. It's 90 centimeters long. Um, yeah, it's been cleaned out. We're gonna chop it up and I'm gonna fry it up today. Very popular in, in, in Asian types of food apparently. But for me, it's a first. Okay, so here we go. What we've got here is our belt fish, ribbon fish or cutlass fish, whatever you call that, cooked with vegetables, soy sauce and oyster sauce with garlic and ginger. It's really, really delicious. You can use any fish you want. You don't have to use the fish that I'm using today. Let's get moving. Okay, so this fish is 1.3 kilos, which is 2.8 something pounds, I think. I've cut it into pieces like that. You can see it's a very thin fish, hence the name belt. Uh, the silvery color gives it the cutlass name and obviously ribbon, you know what I mean. So it's a very thin little fish there. Like I say, being cleaned, cut it into those pieces. I'm gonna marinate that with some garlic, ginger, soy sauce and stuff like that. And then we're gonna fry it off, beautiful. So we're gonna add one cup of soy. That's a dark soy I'm using there. One tablespoon of fish sauce. That's a big pinch or two of black pepper. And then I've got about a tablespoon of chopped garlic and ginger, which is gonna go in there now. I'm not adding salt because the fish sauce is very, very salty and ov obviously we've got the soy. So I'm yeah, just going to move this around in that soy for a bit, then I'm going to pop it in the fridge for an hour. Okay, so here we are at the cooker. I've got some oil in there. I'm just using the sunflower oil. We're going to take our fish and we're going to drop it in. On quite a high heat, I've just put this on by the way. And we're gonna fry this fish for about three or four minutes a side. And I'm picking up the garlic and ginger as it goes in. And you can discard the soy now, the marination. So we're going to fry this fish, get it out the pan, set it aside. Then we're going to get some lovely vegetables together. And get this on the go. Okay, so off goes the heat beautifully cooked so I'm going to fetch it all out and then we can move on don't clean the pan we're going to use the pan with the oil and the bits of fish flavors that we have in there so as you can see I've got one two three four bowls there of roughly equal amount so onion carrots cut nice and small some bell peppers and some green beans A tablespoon of Ginger, cut into nice sticks, a tablespoon of garlic, optional if you want or not, some red fresh chili, and then here, oyster sauce and soy sauce. Now my soy sauce is a light soy sauce, you could use dark if you want, and I've got about four or five tablespoons of that. Let's get back to that beautiful pan. So we're back at the pan. I've added just a little touch more oil. The heat is on, I've got it on high, and like I say, all these lovely bits in there, a beautiful flavor so like I say don't clean the pan in goes the ginger in goes the garlic tablespoon of each one regular size onion and then we can go in with our carrots same volume as the onion and the green beans Again, the same amounts roughly. And then we're gonna cook this for about four minutes on a high heat, stirring all the time. Now, I'm using this selection of vegetables. You could be using anything you want, some celery in there, some mushrooms or whatever. Keep it moving, 
See you in a few minutes. Fabulous stuff. Now let's drop in those bell peppers, the optional red chili or green chili if you wanted. Then we're gonna go with the oyster sauce, maybe three tablespoons, equal amount of soy. I'm using a light soy. Touch of water. Nice big pinch of black pepper. I'm not adding salt because we've got a lot of salt from the oyster sauce, the soy, and of course from the marination of the fish. Keep it on a nice high heat. We're gonna drop our fish back in. And we're gonna gently fold it in there and we're gonna cook for four more minutes on this high heat and this beautiful fish is ready. And there you go, job done. Really beautiful fish. So like I said, you can use any fish for this. You don't have to use this ribbon or belt fish that I've used. But that's it, very, very easy. Fish with vegetables and oyster sauce. Hope you enjoy that. I'll see you very, very soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much indeed for watching our videos. It means a great deal to us. Please do hit the thumbs up for us if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, I suppose. Yeah, don't do that. Just do that. Um, yeah, and subscribe to us. That would really help us out a lot. We just hit 100 million views. We're very excited about that. We would love if you could support what we're doing. We don't do any ads or endorse any products at all, uh, even though we're offered it quite a lot. A lot of it rubbish, to be honest. But um, yeah, we, we, we don't want to be doing that. So we've got a little PayPal thing. If you want to buy us a coffee, just a couple of dollars or whatever you want, you can just follow the link, which should be about here now. And uh, yeah, pay me some money. I'm broke. Lots of love.